Yo, 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 what's happening, guys? Metaverse Melon here, how are we all today? We're back with another video. We're currently in LA right now. We're looking through the map. I've been off for a few days, not been feeling well in that, so I've just been kind of sleeping. Work's been busy as well, so uh, just not been on in that. Kind of just looking at the map every single day. Like, we was going to treasure hunt today as well, but the search button's not working on Upland, so we can't actually um, visit the properties to get paper airplanes right now. We could obviously search for it and go directly, but... Uh, yeah, it just takes too much time, so we're not going on that right now. Tycoon's doing really well as well, so we're at 8,776 OPEX right now, and it's only about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, got the day off today as well, and then we've also swapped our totem for another Tycoon property. Uh, so we've got another three nodes online now as well, so that's cool. We've got 31 windmills, 8 lumber mills, and 7 ore mines as well. Uh, we want to try and like push on the ore mines now as well. Ore's working out more... Uh, return on investment a lot better than energy right now because the energy prices have dropped so uh, we're going to get a few more ore mines online definitely because uh, the ore is going quite strong it has done for the last week or so so uh, yeah really looking forward to that get the account up we're nearly at 10 million now as well so we'll get this up to we'll get about 10 15 thousand out of tycoon today uh probably closer to 15 so we'll be able to push this up to like 950,000 by tonight and then we'll also be able to um What's it? Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. So yeah, probably Thursday now will be over our uh, 10 million. So we'll hit, hit executive, which will be awesome to see. And then hopefully they have a spark week at the end of the month because then we can get up to our 4.21. And then also we'll uh, get extra spark depending on like our treasure hunts and stuff as well. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Want to get back to the property side of stuff as well. Uh, not going to lie, I've not been really... Uh, jumping onto the other stuff right now. I'm just really looking forward to like the property utility coming out and then also like the public um, private transport, sorry, uh, when I can move my vehicle about. I did do a swap uh, the other week, so I've actually got a vehicle now as well, so that's cool. Uh, so we'd love to like be able to rent that out, kind of take people around uh, the, the city, you know, like take them around LA in this kind of um, vehicle, the Series V passenger. Van, so that'll be really cool to actually like get on the road and just see how it all works and links up with Spark. Uh, just really looking forward to that, like the property, like being able to rent your property. I just, I really hope like they go back to it because like that's where I enjoyed it so much. Like it was so much fun uh, every single day selling properties, buying properties, and that the market. Uh, you know, kind of just everything what's going on. So uh, yeah, just kind of watching to see what's actually happening right now and seeing what actually. Uh, comes with the property stuff and like the kind of the different like menus and stuff so you can look for your properties because yeah I got into Upland for the property side of stuff so I really hope that stays like as a main topic because that's really what I do on Upland you know I really enjoy it and I just love like the actual it's good with all the other stuff what's coming into Upland but I just really hope that the focus doesn't go away because yeah I'll enjoy it the community everybody what like kind of with the properties and stuff it's just yeah i love all the other stuff as well i wasn't really too much into the totem as well but i managed to sell my totem this morning so happy with that so now we can move forward and then when life comes out in like a year two years or whatever uh, we could look into getting like some uh, stuff when we need to you know um, we'll buy it later on but for right now uh, tycoon's the main game you know like building these windmills up getting our upex right now we're bringing in about 3x what we are on upland so this count's growing really fast and we're managing to bring in about 400 to 450,000 upex every single month on top of earning about 250 from upland as well so that's about 700,000 upex and then even if i put in another 300 dollars or whatever a month uh, that gets us up to our million a month as well so uh, yeah we'll be able to get this account up to 22 million I'm going to try and push it up to 25 million, obviously, with my pay rise and stuff. And then in April, that comes into effect. So uh, there should be really some good fun times. And we're just going to stay with Granada Hills, really. We're going to keep pushing that. We've got the floor price up to nearly 10,000. Um, where did we get it through? We'll have a quick look right now. Los Angeles, Granada Hills. And then this is what I love about Granada Hills. And then especially the players, what got in at the start, will love this as well because we've monitored this, we've pushed this for about a year now. So you can actually see the floor price. We've got this up to 10,500 OPEX. 
I plan to just keep buying this floor as well and then just raising that. Uh, it's good that FSA players can make a good mark up on their properties as well. So anybody who wants to buy FSA properties in Granada Hills, um, I will purchase them off you for um, a reasonable price. The floor is 10500 right now, so we'll easily be able to get this up to 11000 by the end of the week. And then we'll kind of just keep pushing it a bit more, minting out more properties as well. But we're really getting to the point now in the next couple of months where Granada Hills kind of balanced out. We have ownership of probably about 25 to 30 percent of Granada Hills, and every single day, like more properties are getting minted out. It's actually going. Uh, so well right now so especially the players what was on at the start so the quicker you get in the like the more benefits because if you can buy the floor on minted, on minted property right now for say like 13 and a half 14 thousand up x uh, once the floor goes up to 15 20 thousand up x then that difference is uh sale price so it encourages players to get in early as well so you can actually take full advantage of that so yeah you can see this isn't updated right now but it's at 10,000 here but it's at ten and a half thousand now as well so that's cool and there's only 2,245 properties left and then there's only 14 well only there's a lot of properties 14,000 but our account's getting into a position and we own over like 450 properties I believe in Granada Hills now and by the end of the year that'll be a thousand so uh, uh, we plan to keep pushing that as well and then we'll basically that's about seven eight percent of Granada Hills plus all the supporters and everybody else with residences in Granada Hills so we could own at good like 50 60 percent of Granada Hills by the end of the year if we keep pushing and keep uh, growing it as well and you can just see how all the graphs are going up now different stuff like the transactions in Granada Hills is a good one to see uh, you can see all the different kind of sales you can see it went up it's kind of slowed down I've not been filming the last few days and then we're kind of like gonna just push it again as well and just see where we can get it I'll always be on Granada Hills as well so it's a long game and as I was talking about on the disc Discord as well. Link in the description. I'm starting to bring shares into Granada Hills. So each share will be a value of 1,000 upex to start with, and then that value will be tied to a percentage of returns. But then also those shares will be entitled to like win on the wheel when we do videos. Also like spark trains and other stuff that are coming. Once the factory opens up as well, you'll be able to use those against assets and other stuff that you want to build and create in Upland. And then also the racetrack as well, like different win-ins. Like maybe you win upex or you win tokens instead, or those tokens you can exchange for dollars or upex so there's just loads of different ways that we're looking at as well down the kind of path this is just kind of like talking about it teasing it a little bit but over the next few years it'll kind of be like a private bank for granada hills as well so residents can take full advantage of that use that to get loans and other properties and stuff and it'll all be tied to resident holders in granada hills so it creates a nice community where we can actually lock in and get a high percentage return rate on top of getting all these different like giveaways and stuff as well on this youtube channel so there'll be loads of different stuff like getting promotions with shares like other stuff you know everything we've done on this channel we can do upex and other stuff but for granada hills members i want there to be like a location where everybody can get like really good deals or a discount for being a resident and other stuff like that so yeah we're going to take full advantage of granada hills this year and grow it as much as we can and then by next year it'll be in a good position don't know what's happening with these upex earnings how long they'll go on for as well so we're going to look into like different avenues to go down i think per private transportation will be a good one maybe get like 10 15 20 vehicles and do like different like services like for players in upland hopefully there's different mechanics brought in where you can actually like drive and like rent your vehicles out and move your vehicles about hopefully that comes in like everything what's going on right now it'll be cool if uh, players will actually love like renting like the property like sit by and sell and sorry but once renting comes out and other stuff it'll be cool if you can do like car different shares or rent your car to another player uh, just loads of different stuff what I'd love to actually see on the game of Upland um, and just see where it's actually going so we're going to keep a watch on it right now and just see basically what happens over the next couple of months see if we're going to like keep pushing up x in if the earnings are going to go down if it's going to be more like just to play in the background as a game just like you know uh, just have some fun or is it going to be like kind of still pushing towards the yield so we don't we're just going to watch and see what actually happens right now because uh, only time will tell hopefully the property side of stuff um, I really want to see, I just, I hope it's not going, I hope it really comes back because uh, right now Tycoon's basically what we're looking at and we're just basically, yeah, loving Tycoon and then we do a little bit of the treasure hunting to get our 30 loot boxes as well and then we continue to treasure hunt but right now it's just, we're not getting much spark as well so we're basically just like not doing them all, I've been kind of busy and not well as well but I want to jump back to getting all my AE sends a day and get the treasures back up. Uh, so we can get some more spark rewards and stuff 
and yeah just basically seeing what happens with the game you know i just want to actually uh just keep an eye on it now like i love the game like i love upland like the developers and stuff uh, i really just really hope like the property like there's a big surprise or announcement with property soon because yeah that's what i came into upland for and like it's really good with all the other stuff what like players are getting into but for myself personally and for like a lot of players and especially a lot of creators and that it's it's all been kind of like the yields and the property and other stuff as well so it'll be interesting to see what happens as well but hopefully they go back i don't know if there's a different like um manager behind what was happening last year like last summer compared to now um but it'll just be really interesting to actually see um kind of the vision like long term and stuff i know there's roadmaps and stuff but actually kind of just seeing where they plan to because his property going to come more back stronger is it going to be more is it going to be like really good layer two games really good like property yields really good rent really like or is it going to be like no yield at all and then they every single layer two game where you earn up x but if you're earning like all that OPEX on say Tycoon doesn't that drive traffic away from the Upland app because unless you need to send to the Tycoon node to put money in you're really on Tycoon instead of being on Upland as well so I'm sure it's in Upland's best interest to actually bring in like property utility where you can actually like um, even I was trying to do trades on totems even where you can sell two properties for one or you can swap a property for something else or you'd be able to do like loads of different stuff in the game so that jet fighter just went past us out over the house so they do training uh, routines over here like, in the scottish borders where i live so you can see them doing all the flight paths and all the training and stuff in case uh russia attacks so yeah um but yeah that's basically what i wanted to talk about because i just I just want to see what happens like i'm not even angry i'm just kind of like what's going on i i'd really like to see this busy economy and hopefully more players come in and stuff and like I'm really looking forward to it. Like, I'm excited. I'm like, I'm just looking. There'll be a big announcement. It'll all be a surprise. Like they're trying to do these surprises now. But yeah, just if you're not into totems or like monster trucks right now, like I want the properties. <laughs> I've got over a thousand properties, and I want to grow them as well. Like it's like I like the property trading game side of it. So yeah, it'll be fun to see. Like. Uh, I do like all these other games, like even Tycoon, it's not what I would have expected, it was like kind of got involved and I loved it and like the team behind it's great, you know, so they're like working really hard to get that game up and stuff, so, and they're giving the players what they want as well, so like, you, like they're getting the feedback from the players, but like now it's been like, it's been years since we've actually had any like, cha like proper changes with the property, like I know the Spark and stuff. But like I, I just want to be able to like more like interact with my neighborhood and more like say this player wants to build an asset in the factory you know like i could maybe rent that factory space to him and like different like percentage like you could earn a percentage so like kind of how you sell stuff in your meta ventures you could have a percentage what goes over to the the player based on how much you sell out of that factory and just loads of different stuff they could work on and like get these different like so there's loads of different more like menus and like kind of options to trade and stuff i don't know if that's what they're planning to do anymore i don't know if someone else has got a different vision on kind of where they're going with upland or this super app or stuff but yeah i was like buzzing uh really buzzing when i got into upland the, the property the sales like being able to get visits on your property um everything to do with the property side of stuff like you know building your structures and stuff and i thought like a year ago that there'd be like at least like so much kind of further with the property and i guess they would have been if they like didn't go on to other stuff but like i guess it, i don't know how big the team is as well but it just feels a bit like property has kind of been like neglected and just left to like and players have put so much upex into property as well like there's so much and then back then it was always going to be like the yields going down yes and like it's not all going to be property but like it was play earn connect it was property trading games so like those adverts i signed up to like over a year ago like upland is amazing i love my time but right now i'm kind of like spending a little bit less time on it um i'm always on for my gamified earnings but it's making it like it's more like an effort now like a chore instead of like i want to come on like i've spent that money in upex i should be able to 
get my high score and be able to now I feel like I have to like go check this and that and the people what are doing like totems and stuff like you waking up at different times and like I want to play a game what I can enjoy and it's fun I like, and like rent my properties and just like build like kind of like if you have a solar panel on that property like you get one percent off on like kind of like attacks on like power and electricity and just like kind of like just loads of different fun stuff you see on other games like seasons are coming out other games of seasons so why not have some more like kind of like where you have to use your power and water uh supply kind of thing you know just little stuff what could come in to make it more fun um because i do love the property side of it and i believe upland's done an amazing job um i really do i just i think like everyone's really amazing like the team and everything i just feel now like the kind of the like the big community and looks like the players what every single player i've spoke to is like kind of like it's it's property it's like and that's where the content is as well like, i really don't know like i'm getting kind of like not bored but at least totem stuff and that like you know feeding it and then it's so much effort and you have to go and find out how to do it and stuff and like i love the game of upland but i work like i'm working like 25 hours like right now but like so it's about 30 hours a week i do other stuff on the side as well but like compared to if i was still chef and i wouldn't have time to actually be able to play upland or i wouldn't have been able to get into it uh because i wouldn't have enough time to actually go and like i like that it's a challenge and you should be able to get more so there should be a way to get like 20 percent out of it if you do like yields or 18 percent or whatever it is but for me it's like i'll spend three hours probably a day and then every time i do a video on the channel it's probably about two and a half to three hours worth of like filming editing and then kind of uploading all the kind of tags and everything uh, but that's what I love doing, like YouTube's growing, like I'm putting a lot of effort into YouTube and like when I upload a video I get my subscribers back, so I appreciate everybody what subscribes. Uh, so I put a lot of effort into a video, you know, you get rewarded, like people watch more of the video, it's like you can kind of see the the reward ratio. But with Upland I've put so much effort in, like we've invested so much last year, we've um, worked on Upland every single day and like I'm not moaning, our accounts are doing amazing, we're up nearly at 10 million UPEX, but... I want to play like Upland for years and years to come uh, and I'm just do I put more money into the game like right now I could invest realistically after I get this pay raise probably six to eight thousand dollars this year what I'd love to invest what well, last year I'd have invested that and put it but right now I'm just thinking is it like is it worth it or do I look at something else to invest in or um, and I know it's not an investment game and stuff, but, like, that was the main draw for, like, you could play it, but you're also getting, like, that reward. That's the whole point of Web3, like, I'm sure. Like, that you could actually, like, buy and sell and move your assets over from game to game. So, um, yeah, like, I want to love it. Like, I really do want to love it. I'm just getting a little bit, like, nervous now. Like, I just feel last year, like, Upland was, like, completely like property drive like city releases like you could plan to see which properties are now it's like a surprise release and no everyone's just buying stuff for the sake of buying it whereas before you used to buy something in like a certain location you used to check the like how much it was compared to this what was selling and maybe you could make more off it but right now unless you've got a node on your property and other stuff and like you're buying for dollars and then selling for upex like it's it's not really going and like i'm in la and la is probably one of the best places to sell property like we got in granada hills over a year and a half ago uh because la was like hardly minted out the properties were so cheap and everybody wasn't into la back then i remember it was like kind of just uh like everyone was laughing at la so it was a perfect place because over the time that we could invest so if we didn't have a lot of money i knew that i probably could put in about four to six hundred dollars a month like realistically so we spent about three months playing upland putting a hundred dollars in that kind of thing seeing how fun it was but then after that we got up to like the summer in chef and i was working a lot of hours so i was able to put in like about three four months in a row we put in about a thousand dollars um into the game of upland pushing our count up and then we put in about four or five hundred dollars after that and then we've continued every month since uh, once i changed jobs obviously i've slowed down a little bit with the investing but now we're in like a really good cushy position like i work a lot of hours but i've got this time and i'm just like I want to put the money in and but because it's like back then i knew that i could like make the return so i've done like with my money i've already put in like and the way upland was going it's 
it's weird. I wanted the, the accounts further than I could have ever thought. It's amazing. It's like really, I appreciate where I've got an Outland so much. But if I go and put the same amount of money in this year, like, I don't know if it's actually gonna. So do I play Outland just for like the game and like keep filming? But then like these videos are more entertaining when you put money in and like something sells for a hundred dollars and like you know you, you could eventually if this gets up to ten, fifteen. Uh, 20 million you know like the the yields go up like the giveaways and I just don't want to like obviously put all that money in if it's not gonna if it's just gonna be like um, drifting more and more away from the properties uh, uh, yeah really looking forward to getting back to back to the property and like this I, I love you upland I really do um, I'm just like I'm just watching it right now and I'm just getting a little bit sad <laughs> like I want to see that buzz and all these players coming in as well and like it's good that you've got all these different kind of like tycoon you've got this but realistically when you've got 40,000 like is it 40,000 anymore like users coming in like to like play on a weekly basis or whatever or a daily basis like the more kind of avenues you go down the like the thinner you're spreading the community like I get if there's a million players logging in every single day you've got this, 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 race and everything. But with the small user base, because it is a really small user base, like still it's amazing for where it is. And like, it's amazing the sales and everything, but like there's so many different options and services you can do in Upland, which is amazing. But if there's not enough players to take effect of those, it's you like, you pull out so many players to go and do different stuff. And then the communities and the sales are just, and the property side is just like, yeah, like, I get this earnings stuff is, like, bringing back more sales and stuff. That secondary market, like, mint, um, not mint, buy uh, six properties off the secondary market. I think that one's amazing. Like, I really do. I think Upland's done amazing with these kind of... So it's not like I'm, I don't agree with it. I'm just not fully agree with it. I'm kind of, like, stuck at, like, 50 f in between, like... Like, Upland's doing amazing. I don't know half as much as what they do or their vision or, like... Like, I'm not as clever as what they are, like, with the kind of the design and the development. Like, I'm not saying that at all. Like, they're very smart what they're doing and they know where to go. But for me as a player, my experience in Upland and, like, the feedback, like, I think that's very valuable to Upland as well. Like, I used to come home from work last year and it was, like, the properties were selling, you know. You could, like, look at the price and get properties and you're so excited. And when can I put more money in? And, like, Upland needs to keep the lights on, so... Last year, I couldn't wait to like put my like my card in and like buy properties because those properties would return if you was like clever enough to actually know where you put stuff and like we spent a lot of time and we knew that if we put everything into the sales and other stuff that we've done in real life, we could actually influence Upland. So it's like it's not Upland's fault that they're going this way. It's kind of like just maybe like the dr we're drifting away on paths of what like we enjoy doing because to me like last year was enjoyable and like the fun in it and like the property side and like it was just so much fun now it's like the conversations about a totem or the conversations about like all this other stuff and I'm just not really I'm not really into it like it's I don't want to I want to be able to like have a dog like in the game yes and like life and be able to grow plants and that but I don't want to have to set a phone alarm at like what time did I? I didn't even realize I set my totem, so it was like seven eight or seven or eight a.m. or something. So I had to basically like get up to feed it, and then at night time remember to feed it as well. And then if I was at work, I'd, and it was just like oh, I tried it out. I bought a totem. I was all for it at the start, but yeah, it's like it's just not. It's just not for, just not for me personally. And like I want to. I want to see the property side of stuff, and that's where, like, my fun in the game is as well, so, like, Upland's doing amazing stuff, and, like, a lot of players are very, uh, very happy with, like, kind of the monster trucks, and I don't want to be, like, like, feel bad, like, I, like that's great, like, you're getting what you love out of the game, but right now, like, the properties th is what I loved about the game, and, like, kind of being able to, like, there was value, there was fun, the community was buzzing, there was so much activity, and... I, I've noticed like there's just there's like less I think there's less activity now without even having to go check the stats because I just this yeah I don't know I really hope I just need to go I'm not feeling well still and other stuff but 
yeah, I want to be like buzzing to get on the phone and like go back onto it again and stuff, so and get back to like the community side of stuff and like kind of the giveaways and uh, the Granada Hills and like kind of this uh, share scheme that we want to bring online as well. So there's loads of good stuff, and we're gonna stay into the game and that. I just like with the YouTube side of stuff and that right now. I'm just kind of. I don't know, just kind of being honest, like being really honest right now and just really, instead of like, kind of just like thinking about it, I'd rather be honest. Maybe I'm just like, kind of like tired and just need to have a few more days rest and stuff, but yeah, I want to just buzz in to get back onto it and like basically like sell my properties and trade my properties and do all that kind of good stuff in the game as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully that does come back and we can actually uh, get back to... Yeah, like, the property, I want the properties and stuff as well, but that's only because Upland's created something so good that I'm actually, like, making this video as well, so it's all credit to Upland for uh, making me, like, that kind of hooked onto the property side of stuff in the first place, I just, yeah, I don't know, let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think, what's happening, if people are still... Um, if you've seen an increase if you think other stuff in the game like just yeah let me know because like the players feedback this is the best because if like they're releasing stuff like the players don't want it's kind of like um not what they want either so like i believe like yeah we should start like kind of a different kind of see where all the players kind of feel about this you know the community coming together uh, there's not been really a vote anymore they used to do the votes on the stuff as well um yeah where was the vote on the upex earnings like, where was, what's the point of voting and this massive thing about the community being able to choose and where it's going and being decentralised and that and there wasn't even a vote on the OPEX earnings or even the percentage of the OPEX earnings or should it be like 5.2% or 5.5% 5 .5 or there was just no, no like kind of community and I don't know, like, I'm just going to leave this video here and that, but I'm going to upload it because I think it's very valuable as well. But yeah, click that subscribe button, like, comment, share this video if you're not already. I'll be back for another video tomorrow and that. I'll just take a night to uh, reflect on everything and see how it's going as well. So yeah, thank you so much for the support, guys. Metaverse Melon, peace.